हरे कृष्ण महाराज तांडवत प्रणाम ऑल ग्लोरीज टू शीला प्रभा थैंक यू सो मच महाराज फॉर युअर वैल्युएबल टाइम एंड एसोसिएशन दिस मॉर्निंग एंड एन लाइट एन एस ऑन टॉपिक ऑफ श्री गौर कथा प्लीज टेक ओवर महाराज हरे कृष्ण um can you can you put a verse up on the board yes maharaj you have access to chaitanya bhagavat by uh it's by braj braj raj press braj raj press it's the edition um multi volume edition braj by Raj Raj Press edition of Chaitanya Bhagavat published in the year 1998 by Torchlight Publishing Do you have that particular access Hare Krishna Maharaj I, I am not really sure I just found something but uh uh well well I just need the first verse from the Chaitanya Bhagavat there's a purport in this particular edition but if you don't have it I'll just I'll read it from my edition and speak <laughs> is this the one maharaj that's chaitanya bhagavat yeah but i don't know if that's the same version i have no idea i uh, yeah, i'll recount the first one is the five verses that make up the mangala charan is the first one keep going down continue to go down here you come to text number 1 you should is this the one that's the verse yeah yeah this is it okay you got it very good ृष्णप्रस्तायक्तिमे <laughs> नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवाणी पुचरिने नियर विशेष सुन्यवारी अस्त्यत्यरे सतारिने पंचकल्पत रूपस्य कृपसिन्धु वेद चापतितानं भावने यो वैष्णवे यो नमः नमः वन्दे श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य नित्यनंदो सुनौदिरो गौरवदाया पुष्पं मन्तो चित्तसंदो तमोदिरो Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasudeva Gaur Bhaktavinoda So this is by Shri Vrindavan Das Thakur who is considered the father of Lord Chaitanya's pastimes and this is text number 1 Can everyone hear me okay Yes Maharaj we can hear you Maharaj Okay good Ajanu lambita bujau kanaka vadato sankirtanai papitaro kamalaya takso vishvam baro dwije baro uka dharma palo vande jagat priya karo karuna avataro Translation I offer my respectful obeisances unto Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Shri Nityananda Prabhu whose arms extend down to their knees who have golden yellow complexions who are in, who inaugurated the congregational chanting of the holy names of the lord their eyes resemble the petals of a lotus flower they are the maintainers of the living 
beings, the best of the brahmanas, the protectors of religious principles for this age, the benefactors of the universe, and the most merciful of all incarnations. In this verse of the Mangala Charna, the forms of Gaur and Nityananda are described. They have long arms that stretch to their knees. Their complexions are like gold and their eyes are like the petals, petals of the lotus flower. So we know from the name, Lord Chaitanya is called Gora Sundar. Gora refers to color. Uh, Lord Chaitanya received his color, or you might say Krishna received his color from Srimati Radharani. When Krishna told Radharani that he was going to Advent to perform the most compassionate activities that had ever been done by the Supreme Lord by making available the process of bhakti, pure bhakti, to everyone and anyone without consideration of qualification, position, uh, background, family. In other words, everyone has the opportunity in this age to perform devotional service, which wasn't done before Lord Chaitanya came. When Krishna was talking to Radharani, he also said that he will come in the form of her particular mood. Uh, when she heard that, uh, she was a little concerned, quite shocked, and said, well, if you come in my mood, you will not be able to live. <laughs> you will simply kill yourself in the ecstasy of love for yourself. And so uh, she said, well, I'll do one thing. I'll give you my color, my golden color, because Radharani is called, she is Gorangi. Angi, Goda, Gorangi refers to Radharani. So she is golden in complexion and her limbs are of that color. So she uh, said to Krishna, I will give you my color. And so he is called Goranga. Therefore, it says here, the complexions are like gold. Uh, yeah, but mm, mm, Lord Nityananda's complexion is different than Lord Chaitanya's complexion. He has a gold complexion with a reddish hue that's permeated throughout the gold. If you go to Sri Dan Mayapur, if you look onto the altar of the Panchatattva, the very uh, grand sizes of the Lord's appearance, you'll see that each of them are, they all have golden color, but the gold is slightly different in complexion from two of them have a complete golden complexion, and that is Lord Chaitanya and Lord Gadadhar. Gadadhar and Lord Chaitanya are pure golden color. Uh, Srivas, and please leave the verse up. <laughs> Srivas, and uh, and uh, Advaita Charya have a whitish gold color, and Lord Nityananda has a reddish gold color. So this will be observed by devotees who take darshan. These two brothers have been described and adored as the inaugurators of the Sankirtan movement. So Sankirtan is the way to worship Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in this age. Harinam Sankirtan, Krishna Barna, Tusa Krishna, Sangopanga, Saparshadam, Yagyai Sankirtan, Prayai, Yajantihi Sumeda Saha. So this verse is from Srimad Bhagavatam, which describes Lord Chaitanya, 
who is Tusa Krishna, he is Krishna, but he has a blackish, he has a golden color. Otherwise, Krishna is blackish. The word Krishna also means blackish. But here it's Tusa Krishna, which means he's not blackish. So he is of a different color, and that same Krishna comes as Lord Chaitanya. And he comes with his weapons, his associates, his uh, followers, like that. And what do they do? Sankirtanai, Sankirtanai, Yagyai, Sankirtanai, Prayai. They inaugurate the Sankirtan. Now the word Sankirtan is interesting. The word Kirtan means to glorify the Lord. It comes from the word Kirti. Kirtian is the etymological root word of the word Kirtan, which means fame. So to glorify the Lord means to spread the fame of the Lord. And San has two meanings also. San means together when more than one person come, comes together to glorify the Lord, that is called Sankirtan. Otherwise, it's just Kirtan if one person is doing it. And then the word San also means complete. And so the word San refers to there is no more complete way or better way to glorify the Lord in this age than to perform Sankirtan. All our pujas, all our homas, all our rituals, all our chanting of mantras, all our study of the Shastras, all our giving in charity, all of our various types of austerities and penances we may perform, don't equal one drop of the benefit of those who perform Sankirtan. Because in this age, this is the, the way to worship the Lord by Harinam Sankirtan. So they came not only to, to the king, but they came to inaugurate the movement itself. In other words, they are the founders of the Sankirtan movement. Why do you keep changing around? I don't know what's going on here. Is there some is there some problem or something? Just leave leave the verse up. It is. I'm reading from it. These two brothers have been described as yeah, and they're the protectors of religious principles of this age. So religious principles in this age are lost. People don't know what are real religious principles, and they concoct their own principles of religion. The real religious principles are to follow the law, the, the um, instructions of the Lord. So in this age, the religious principle is to glorify the Lord, to worship the Lord, and to follow some basic individual principles, such as reframing from certain sinful activities, which go on today as norm. So they, they protect religious principles, they maintain the living entities. The Krishna is called Vishwambar, he means he maintains the entire universe. Lord Chaitanya is also given that name. That was his name at birth, Vishwambar. His mother gave him that name, Vishwambar. They gave him the name Nimai, and they gave him the name Vishwambar. Vishwambar means one who maintains the universe, and Nimai means one who was born underneath a, a neem tree. So we know that Lord Chaitanya appeared under, the, under a neem tree, so he received the name Nimai. The benefactors of the universe, the best of the Brahmanas, both Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda are coming from Brahmana backgrounds, and the most merciful of all incarnations, the O Mahavadanaya, Krishna Prema Padayate, Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya, Namani Gauda Tristana Maha. There's no more, more merciful manifestation of Lord Chaitanya or Lord, Lord Krishna in this age than Lord Chaitanya because he is giving so easily what people would have to perform for millions of years or millions of births 
the Lord is giving love of God so easily through the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Still, we have to qualify ourselves by purifying our chanting, but he's made it easy. Before Lord Chaitanya came, there were so many rules, regulations, restrictions, and processes to achieve pure love of God, which for most people were impossible. And of course, in this age, it's impossible for everyone. But anyone and everyone can chant Hare Krishna. But still, even though people chant, it's so easy to chant Hare Krishna, at least it is in principle, still people don't have any taste for chanting Hare Krishna. We have a tendency to just do our rounds and finish them or sometimes struggle through them and can't wait till they're over because we have no taste for chanting and we don't really understand the actual benefit of chanting. Even if one's chanting is not up to the standard, still if they try to chant with sincerity and bringing about as much attention as one possibly can, they will receive the mercy of the Lord, even though the chanting is less than pure. Here it says they are, the, they are both the benefactors of the universe. They preach the principles of compassion for the living entities. There's no more, more compassion and manifestation of Krishna than Lord Chaitanya. That was illustrated by the pastime of giving love of God to Lord to Jagai and Marai, who were most sinful personalities who had committed so many sins. They were not even interested in anything spiritual, but still they received the highest gift and became great devotees of the Lord. And as Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati confirms when he speaks about this pastime, that this mercy shown to Jagai and Marai is not simply something of a one-time event or it's just some pastime of the Lord in the scriptures. It's a feature of Lord Chaitanya's mercy that is going on daily, even today. So the Jagais and Malays of the world or who have no chance to even approach the Lord are given a chance by the Lord's mercy by by chanting the holy names of the Lord. They are addressed as Karuna and Vishwambara, merciful and the maintainers of the universe. They preach the religious principles of the age, which we know is the chanting of the holy name. And in the form of serving Vishnu and the Vaishnavas through the process of Harinam Sankirtan which is the only means, this is, this is a very much important for devotees to understand, this is the only means of deliverance for the people in this age. You can worship the Lord in so many other ways, but you will not reach perfection in this age because Lord Chaitanya has given us the process. Harinam Sankirtan. So just coming together with a few people Maybe even if you don't even have instruments and singing the glories of the holy name, clapping your hands. This is Sankirtan, coming together as a group and glorifying Krishna's holy name. This is the means for deliverance in this age. And as we do that, we can develop a taste. Jiva Doya, showing compassion for other living entities, and Vaishnav Seva, serving the Vaishnava. So this is Lord Chaitanya's three-part program. Um, uh, Nam Ruchi, Vaishnav Seva, Jiva Doya. Uh, Nam Ruchi means chanting the holy names and developing a taste, showing compassion for other living entities, Jiva Doya, and serving other Vaishnava. Okay, keep continue, go down the page some more. And now it describes a little bit more about their physical forms. The arms of great personalities stretch to their knees. 
as the words Ajahn Ulambi Gabujo. Ordinary persons don't have arms like that. They, they show all the great symptoms of great personalities as stated in the, in the Shastras. One whose measures four cubits in height and breadth by his own hand is celebrated as a great personality. Such a person is called Nyagroda Paramandala. Lord Chaitanya's body is Nyagroda Parimandala. His arms stretch to his knees. His eyes are actually like lotus flowers and they stretch all the way to his ears. The beauty of a sesame flower is compared, or the nose of the Lord is compared to a beautiful sesame flower. And the moon has always been known as a feature of beauty, which is compared to the face of Lord Chaitanya. Continue. And although they're the, they're the Supreme Lord themselves, they come as their own devotee to give shelter to all devotees. They are spiritually beautiful, they attract all living entities. And one verse from the uh, Mahabharata, the, the Vishnu Sarasya Nama Strota, Suvarna Varna He Mango Varna Dasya Chana Nagdadi, in his early pastimes. The Lord appeared as a householder and he had a golden complexion. His limbs are as beautiful, his body smeared with pulp of sandalwood, they appear like molten gold. Just to visualize or see the beautiful form of Lord Chaitanya would make the beauty of this world look very pale and undesirable. <laughs> You know, here's a verse written by Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Sankirtana Bhartaka Si Krishna Chaitanya Sankirta Yagyatana Bhajase Danya. Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the inaugurator of Sankirtan. One who worships him through Sankirtan is fortunate at, is the, indeed. So although we spread the, the Sankirtan movement and though devotees are very much aware of Sankirtan, still generally we don't have attraction for doing Kirtan for whatever reason. But once you develop an attraction, you will enter into the mood of Lord Chaitanya's special mercy. As you see, if you see forms of Lord Chaitanya, you'll see that he is in three different postures that you can see him in his different manifestations of himself. One posture, his both arms are straight over his head and his one leg, his, his left leg is moving forward and his right leg is backward. And then you have Lord Nityananda where his left leg is backward and his right leg is moving forward. So we're there in a dancing mood so they're dancing like this. And uh, so the Lord is dancing. We see, we hear how Lord Chaitanya would dance all the time during the kirtan. And his dancing was just like the entire world, earth would shake when Lord Chaitanya would dance. And everyone would go into ecstasy just to see one small portion of his dance was enough to bring a person's consciousness to pure love for Krishna. He is known as Gornataraj. He is the king of all dancers. And Lord Nityananda is known as Nittai Nataraj. So Lord Chaitanya liked to dance. Then another form of Lord Chaitanya and Nityananda is that they have one arm raised above their head and the other arm is coming down alongside of their body and out and the hand is moving outward. So one arm up and one arm down. You see forms of the deities that are in that particular pose. That is also dancing, but this one is dancing in ecstasy. 
So this one is even more of the dancing mood. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is dancing in ecstasy. So that's the second form or pose you'll see the deities in. And the third is not a dancing pose. It's Lord Chaitanya extending his arms straight forward with his palms upward. And in this particular mood, he is uh, giving complete mercy to the conditioned souls. You'll see a deity like that called Dameshwara Mahadev. It's in a place called Koladweep, in one of the islands at Navadweep in Mayapur Dam. And there's a beautiful temple, Dameshwar Mahadev, where that deity of Lord Chaitanya was carved by one of his followers after the Lord departed. Um, it was done as a gift to Lord Chaitanya's wife, uh, Vishnu Priya. When Lord Chaitanya left and took sannyas, he wanted to benedict his wife. So he arranged for a carving of himself in that particular form to be given to his wife when she worshiped that form throughout her whole life. And now that deity is in uh, Koladweep in one temple there. And he's called Dameshwar Mahadev, beautiful deity, big deity. When you go there, Perhaps some of you have seen the deity. It's so attractive. He has a huge smile on his face and he's extending himself, offering full mercy, full benedictions to the conditioned souls. Mm -hmm. So these are the three forms that the Lord uh, manifests in his deity form. Mm -hmm. It says here in his early pastimes, he is known as Vishwambar because he floods the world with the nectar of devotion and thus saves the living beings. Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead and he's very merciful. But Krishna has shown unlimited mercy in, his, in this particular form of himself as Lord Chaitanya. Uh, Prabhupada would give a little antidote to try to help us understand how merciful Lord Chaitanya is. And he, the antidote would be is two persons are talking, they're friendly. So one decides to give some money to the other one. So he takes out some money and he says, here, this is for you. I want to give it to you. And the other person says, oh, thank you very much. But no, no, you keep it. Thank you. Yeah, I can see you're so kind. But no, he doesn't, he, out of his natural humility, he doesn't want to take it. But the other person says, no, you please take it. And the other person says, no, no. And finally, the person who wants to give the money, he takes the money and he pushes it into the pocket of the other person and says, now you have it. So that's Lord Chaitanya. Even if you don't want it, you get it. <laughs> as long as you stay near Lord Chaitanya, you'll get it. <laughs> He's very merciful. Uh, and Prabhupada would also, and there's a verse that illustrates this, Prabhupada would say, uh, just try to understand how merciful Lord Chaitanya is. And you may use your great intelligence and all of your uh, previous successes in understanding things, but you will never be able to even come close to understanding how merciful Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is. So one who takes shelter of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is very fortunate and that shelter comes by chanting Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare when Lord Chaitanya was traveling alone through one area um, he was on his way to Jagannath Puri and he could see in this area there was no Vaishnavas and he was feeling very unhappy just being in that area. And then he saw two little boys who were herding some cows. So he came by and then 
he saw that they were chanting Hare Krishna. And he said, oh, you two boys, you are great souls. I have been traveling and I've not, I've not heard anyone chant the holy names of the Lord, but now I'm hearing it from you, thank you. And he starts showering his praise upon these two young boys. He, just by hearing the holy name, Lord Chaitanya was so appreciative. Now that's Lord Chaitanya, he's very kind and he likes when people, when we chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. And he also, one of his other qualities, which was very outstanding is that he loved to serve his devotees. He served his devotees more than his devotees could even imagine. We were narrating just the, the other, the last four days, um, the Mahaprakash Leela of Lord Chaitanya, 21 hours in the house of Sri Thakur, where Lord Chaitanya was in the mood of the Supreme Personality of Godhead and then giving out benedictions and benefits and gifts to all his devotees. And one by one, he was offering them so much uh, gratitude for who they were and glorifying them and also explaining how he secretly came to them when they were in distress and not even knowing who he was, he relieved their distress in different ways. So this is Lord Chaitanya. He loves to serve the devotees. So anyone who develops that mood of Vaishnav Seva, serving the devotees really becomes dear to Lord Chaitanya because he simply made that his means to serve in this world, to chant Hare Krishna and very, very lovingly serve the devotees. <laughs> okay, so a reference is given in the Atharva Veda, second kanda, describes, uh, please preserve me by sustaining the universe, O Vishwambar, upholder of the universe. So here in the Atharva Veda we find a uh, statement glorifying Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So sometimes people find it difficult to understand who Lord Chaitanya is in terms of his position as the Supreme Lord. And so here in, in the original Vedas itself, there are four original Vedas, the Atharva, the Rig Veda, the Kshama Veda, and the uh, Yajur Veda. So these are the Shrutis, the original Vedas. So we find even in the, the Shru, regular Vedas, we find reference to Lord Chaitanya. Here, the word Dvija, uh, in the verse that we chanted at the beginning, refers to Chaitanya who are dressed as Brahmins, but have taken the role of acharyas, in other words, they they are teachers. Only brahmanas are meant to take sannyas because kshatriyas and vaishyas are generally not qualified. So, according to the ashram, they are dressed as dvijavara. They took the role of jagat guru and taught devotional service to the world. They are the crest jewels of the brahmanas. In this incarnation, they didn't consider themselves cowherd boys only and, and perform Rasalila with other, like Krishna did when he appeared. Hmm. Okay, the word yuga is explained as follows. A Maha Yuga consists of four million 320,000 earthly years. The process of self-realization for Satya Yuga, Treta Yuga is different. One's for meditation, one's for sacrifice, Duarpa Yuga, Diti worship. So this is mentioned in the Srimad Bhagavatam that in this age, the means for self-realization is chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, as stated in Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, Kirtaya Dayato Vishnu Tritayam Yajitam Makai Dwarpare Paricharyam Jam Kalo Tadari Kirtana. 
Whatever results one's attained in such a yuga by meditating on Vishnu and Treta Yuga by performing sacrifices and Dwarpa Yuga by serving the Lord his feet through deity worship, one can have attained the same simply in this age of Kali by chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra Kalera Doshani Deira Jan Asti Eko Maha Gun Kirtana Eva Krishna Sya Mukta Sangam Param Bajet. This world verse was spoken by Sukadeva Goswami to Maharaj Nimi, King Nimi, Kalir Dosha Nidi Rajan. Rajan refers to King. King Nimi is being addressed by Sukadeva Goswami saying, this age is so bad. <laughs> it is an ocean of faults. There is so many faults. We don't need to read the newspapers to understand or hear the news to hear how bad this age is. We see it all around us. This age is needy. Needy means ocean, uh, dosha, so many faults. But asti echo, what is that echo? Mahagun, kirtana ever Krishna's yeah. Simply by chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, one can be free from all material bondage and be promoted to the transcendental kingdom. So here, this verse, next verse. Kalim sabajaya ka anya buna gya sarvabhagi naha yatra sankirtanaivaya sarva sarvato bilabhyate. Those who are actually advanced in knowledge are able to appreciate the essential values of this age. So, this age, although it's so bad, it has one good quality. Such enlightened persons worship this fallen age and achieve all perfection in life easily by performance of Sankirtan. Goloka Premadan Harinam Sankirtan Ratin Jan Milo Kene Upai. So in this age, the Lord has descended along with the Harinam Sankirtan to enlighten and spread the, the glories of the Lord everywhere. This is the panaceum, enechi asadi mayam, nasi badalagi, harinam, maha mantra, lao tumi magi. In this age, the chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra is the medicine for all ills. We don't need all the medicines that are being publicized and promoted by the secular world for saving us from diseases. All we need is the medicine of the holy name. That is the medicine in this age because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has empowered the holy name with all of the mercies of the, the, the three absolute truth are fully manifested in the chanting of the holy name. So there's no one who, one who becomes attracted and attached to chanting of the holy name will understand everything on all levels and find complete perfect peace happiness and achieve the goal of life prema pumartha maham there's no greater mercy manifested than lord Chaitanya delivering himself he is merciful and he is showing the supreme mercy through the chanting of the holy name okay so so this is this is all one purport for that verse. So um, and then it goes on just to say, Trimad Bhagavatam. Uh, go down the page a little more. Yeah, this is the verse that we quoted earlier. Krishna Varnam Tusa Krishnam Sangopanga Saparshadam Yagnai Sankirtanai Prayai Yajanti Hi Sumeda Saha. So here the word. Tusa Krishna is um, Krishna refers to blackish. He is not blackish. He's golden in color. Although his complexion is not blackish, he is Krishna himself. In other words, Krishna has come in a golden color. This is his, and he's accompanied by associates, servants, weapons, and confidential companions. Weapons. It means his. Um, his devotees. Mm -hmm. There are his weapons. Mm -hmm. 
And here it describes him coming in different colors and different ages, in white in Satya Yuga, red in Treta Yuga, and uh, blackish in Dwarpa Yuga, and yellow in the Kali Yuga. And you have to, we have to understand that Lord Chaitanya does not appear in every Kali Yuga. He appears once in every thousand Kali Yugas. And so, and Krishna also, who precedes the appearance of Lord Chaitanya at the end of Dwarpa Yuga, appears also on the same cycle. So both appear only once in every thousand Kali Yugas. And we can imagine what mercy we have been given, having been present about at this particular time. Although the age is so bad and is full of so many anomalies and so many uh, horrible things that go on in this age, it's, we can, just to think about what goes on in this age, perpetrated by human beings is like more, the worst kind of horror movement you could possibly even create. Even what goes on in real life is worse than what they can put on the screen in, in these movies of sensationalism. But simply because Lord Chaitanya has come and he's given the mercy, Harinam Sankirtan. Uh, and as it says here, he is more magnanimous than any avatar, Krishna himself bestowing freely pure love for Krishna. Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita said, Sarva Dharma Pradiksit Mum. Some of Sarva Dharma Pradiksit Jam. Mum may come Sadanam Brajam. Aham Tvam Sarva Pape Bhyo Moksa Yishyami Masu Chaha. Krishna made it a little difficult. He said, You got to surrender to me, and then you'll get my mercy. But Krishna, after he said that, and then he was thinking, hmm. I think I made it too difficult. <laughs> Not too many people are coming. Instead of reading the Bhagavad Gita, to come to the point of devotional service, people read the Bhagavad Gita simply for some scholastic or some, uh, uh, you know, some philosophical knowledge. They see Bhagavad Gita as a nice philosophical or trans spiritual text. But how many people are actually surrendering to Krishna, making devotional service their focus in life? So Krishna was seeing, I've come, I've given the formula, but no one's taking it. So then he said, then the Lord thought, I have to make it more attractive. So he came as Lord Chaitanya. And he didn't say, surrender. He said, chant, Hare Krishna. When you feel happy, dance. And when you get tired, eat some nice foodstuffs offered, known as Krishna Prasadam. This is the formula that Lord Chaitanya has given. Here, yeah, so this other verse here, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Doyakara Vichar, Vichar Kara Chaita Para Chamat Kara. If you're indeed interested in logic and argument, Kindly apply it to the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. If you do so, you will find it to be strikingly wonderful. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We cannot begin to understand how merciful and how kind he is. When Prabhupada was in, he came to the uh, Atlanta, Georgia temple in 1975 and the very end of February, and he came and devotees from all over the world, all over the all over the, the world of USA came to see Prabhupada. And uh, Prabhupada sat, and he was he he sat, and in that particular temple, there are two beautiful brass, huge deities of Gornitai, which make up the main altar. They sit in the center altar. On the right side is Radha and Krishna. On the left side, there is, now there is Jagannath. But years ago, there was no Radha Krishna. There was only Jagannath in Gornitai. When Prabhupada was there, later on Radha and Krishna came. But in that center altar, which is still the center altar today, when Prabhupada started to 
begin his lecture, he started to talk about how merciful these two brothers are who have come to give. Prabhupada's mind became very contrite. His voice started to falter. And at one point he remained completely quiet. When that happened, the entire assembly of the Vaishnavas who were, uh, also remained quiet, wondering what was going to happen. Well, you have to mute that, whatever that distraction is. <laughs> Uh, well, after, when Prabhupada was in that uh, silent state, the devotees were wondering what's going to happen. And Prabhupada, they could see Prabhupada was actually showing some emotion. He was crying. And then he opened his eyes and he said, just have kirtan. He couldn't speak. He was just thinking in his heart how kind these two brothers are, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sri Nityananda Prabhu. So this is a little bit about the unlimited ocean of the glories of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which is greater than the limited ocean that makes up the faults of Kali Yuga. <laughs> Although there's an ocean of faults in Kali Yuga, it's limited compared to the unlimited mercy and characteristics, qualities, activities of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu along with Lord Nityananda. And they have brought with them Advaita Acharya, Sri Gadadhar Pandit and Sri Vastakur, along with all their associates, to purify the entire world through the through Nam Sankirtan. And here's a beautiful verse. These two have arisen over the eastern high of Gaudiya. Sri Guru Dui Jagatir Hoya Sadan, Gauda Desha Purushalaka Udai, E Chandra Suya Duya Paramam Sadaya, Jagatir Bhagya Gauda Kalila Udai. Being compassionate to the fallen state of the world, these two, the sun and the moon, are very kind to the people of the world. Thus, for all good fortune of all, they have appeared. Uh, on the horizon of Bangladesh, Bangla. One day, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Nityananda Sanodito, Purodaya Pushpanvanto, Chitto Sando Tamo Nudo. These are all beautiful, beautiful glorifications of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Lord Nityananda. What would the world be without the sun and the moon? There would be no life. So for the devotees, there's no life without the sun of Lord Chaitanya and the moon of Lord Nityananda. So this is, uh, yeah. Well, this, is, this verse goes on. Okay, that's the end. That is, now we're coming to verse number two. Um, Go to the last paragraph. Who in this world but Nityananda could show his mercy to an abominable person like me? Krishna Kaviraj Kavi talks about the glories of Lord Nityananda. Okay, so we'll stop there. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Ki, Sri Nityananda Ram Ki, Sri Gaur. Gaur Purnima upcoming key. 2021 key. <laughs>
Thank you, Maharaj, for a beautiful, beautiful class. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna, dear devotees. Anybody having any question? Please go ahead. Comments are also welcomed. Thank you, Maharaj. And go to Denver for now for your best. Hari Hari Gauranga. Thank you, Maharaj. Hari Hari. Okay. Thank you. So, everyone, prepare your hearts and minds and of your life with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. From now until the 28th, we can make that our focus and more just to hear more about Lord Chaitanya, sing the beautiful bhajans created by the great souls which glorify the mercy and the appearance of Lord Chaitanya. So many beautiful, beautiful bhajans by Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Srila Naratam Das Thakur, Sri Lochan Das Thakur, and many others glorifying Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Dear Govinda Prabhu. Thank you, Maharaj. Dhanwad. Dhanwad. Speak something. Maharaj, you, you have said everything so nicely. What can I add? <laughs> Whatever you add will be like the uh, topping of the cake. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot top you, Maharaj. I am not capable. Thank you. <laughs> Lord Chaitanya will inspire you. <laughs> I have been crying all the time. You are narrating this thing, you know. Your, your love for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is your, your tribute to his glorification. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Okay. Hare Krishna. Hare. Yes, Mahaprabhu is so merciful. We should all be crying because we have been given the greatest benediction ever. Even more merciful than Krishna could ever be is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Thank you. We are blessed by your appearance. Thank you. Thank you, Maharaj, so much. Thank you, Maharaj, for the beautiful, beautiful class and glorifying uh, Lord Gauranga and how Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is giving this process very, very easily. Like, as you said, that Bhagavad Gita was very hard for the people to take it. That is why Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave it us everything easily, you know, just chant and have prasada. You get Krishna Prema and you can go back to Godhead. Very, very nice, uh, Maharaj. And as you said, we should be full of in consciousness of Gauranga all these uh, days until 28. Uh, and chant more and please, Gauranga. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Thank you so much. Hare Bol. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Maharaj, for your association. I am I'm just a little insect trying to find some place to land. <laughs> That's all. Lalita Lalita Tangi, Radha. 
Hare Krishna <laughs> Maharaj, please accept our respectful obeisances and uh, thank you so much for your uh, continued association and when we hear the glories of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu from a person who have dedicated his life uh, to the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and uh, Srila Prabhupada, it's so nectarian Maharaj. Uh, it comes straight from your purity and from your heart and we absolutely don't deserve this, but this uh, we can understand the costless mercy of uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, by making giving us an opportunity to hear uh, his great devotees like yourself. <laughs> Hari Bol, wow. So beautiful. That's Lord Chaitanya here in Slovenia. Hari Bol. <laughs> We that we have Panchatattva, but he is this is the Lord Chaitanya of our Panchatattva. <laughs> He's big. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. So uh, Maharaj, my question is, uh, I mean, that there could not have been a better uh, time uh, than uh, now uh, that uh, Srila Prabhupada has taken the mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and spread it all around. And we have to make it uh, back to Godhead by his mercy. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, so many other things also are involved in that. Uh, he says the verse Trinath api suni chena and that's the, I mean, that's the only thing he said, but that's, that's uh, inclusive of everything that, you know, it's, uh, it's not easy to do that. So how do I make myself not miss this mercy and get back to his lotus feet? <laughs> well, I'm, it's not very difficult. It's just takes... It takes awareness about what is available. When we understand the treasure, then we will, once we touch it, we'll, we'll go for the whole thing. The treasure is there within our heart, which is pure love of God. It becomes awakened when we serve the Vaishnavas and we chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Lord Chaitanya's three part program, Jiva Doya, Vaishnav Seva, Nam Ruchi. That's what he emphasized. Those three, everything else was extra. <laughs> Serve the Vaishnavas. He, how he, how Lord Chaitanya served the Doya. Unbelievable. It's like the story of Ganga Das Bhattacharya, who was Lord Chaitanya's uh, school teacher before Lord Chaitanya became a teacher himself. One night, the Muslims came and they were attacking Navadweep. So, and people were scared. So Ganga Bhattacharya, he took his family and try, tried to escape. So he went down to the banks of the Ganges to cross the river to, for safety. But he came in the middle of the night and there were no boats there. And so he was in anxiety, praying to the Lord, please protect me, protect my family. And so the, the soldiers were everywhere. So he was very fearful. Finally, out of nowhere, a boatman came and pulled his boat up and said, please get into the boat. And he took him and his family across the the, the river to the other side for safety. And then later on, Lord Chaitanya revealed that he was that boatman. <laughs> he was the boatman. He told that to Ganga, he told that to Ganga Das when at the Mahaprakash Lila. He said, you remember, you remember when you were afraid that your family would be attacked by these Muslim soldiers and you were you were praying to me and there was no boats. So I descended from Vaikuntha and I came as the boatman. Yeah, the Lord said that. So this is this is how, how much he served his devotees. That's just one small example. 
there's so many, many, many wonderful incidents of how the Lord serves his devotees. He liked to serve the devotees. He found great happiness doing it. The devotees were always embarrassed because they knew Lord Chaitanya was always trying to serve them and they were trying to avoid it and trying to serve him. So it became a competition. Who could serve better? And Lord Chaitanya would always win. <laughs> Thank so, you so much, Maharaj. Yeah. That's why he, he made another statement. He said, those who chant the holy names of the Lord with attachment and do not find fault with others, especially Vaishnavas, will receive my full mercy. So the full mercy of the Lord, Lord Chaitanya comes when one chants the holy name and doesn't find fault with others. Adosha Darshi. Dosha means fault. Adosha means no faults. Darshi means to see. One who does not see the faults of others. Lord Chaitanya made that statement. So yeah, he's not only did he serve the Vaishnavas, but he was always very strong among those who, who offended Vaishnavas. Thank you so much, Mother. Hare Krishna. What are some of the things we can do to prepare for Gaur Purnima? I, I would suggest, and this is what I'll be doing, and I, we're doing it every day at my conference, we're seeing, is that you can read about Lord Chaitanya's leelas from Chaitanya Charitamrita every day which will prepare your heart and mind for his appearance. That is probably the, the most direct. Um, you can have kirtan. <laughs> that will also bring Lord Chaitanya's mercy. And uh, what would be really nice is to bring the devotees together and have bhajans glorifying Lord Chaitanya. There are so many bhajans, especially Bhakti Vinoda Thakur, and also Naratam Das, glorifying Lord Chaitanya, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Doya Koda Mohore, Oma Vina Ke Dayala. So that song we sing every day in the uh, Mayapur Dam, just before we, just after Lord Chaitanya appears, we greet the Lord with that song. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu, Doya Gauda Mohore, Toma Bina Ke Dayal, Jagat Samsahare. And that's by Srila Naratam Das Thakur. We also, we also do it here in our temple in Ljubljana every day also, right after we greet the deities here, because we have Panchatattva deities here. So that's a beautiful song. And there's so many other beautiful bhajans. One of my favorite, I'm not sure of the author, is Nava Gora Varam Nava Pushpasaram Namahe Masudam Pranamami Sachi Sutta Gora Varam Pranamami Sachi Sutta Gora Varam. That's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful 
melody of chanting the glories of Lord Chaitanya, eight verses, describing in detail his activities, his physical qualities, and his transcendental uh, pastimes. Yeah. Nava Goda Varam. You can look that up. Nava Goda Varam, V A R A M. That's the first three lines in the song. You could find it, probably find it on kksongs.org. Yeah, that's the verse. Nava Goda Varam, Nava Pushpasaram, Nava Bhava Dharam, Nava Lasya Param. Nava Hasya Karam, Nava Hema Varam. Anamami Sachi Sutta Gauravaram. And there's eight beautiful verses that go on all the way down. And then you'll see the translation. His complexion is like the hue of fresh cream tinged with kumkum. He is the ever fresh cupa who shoots arrows of new blossoming flowers. He bears newer and newer moods of emotional ecstasies. He is fond of performing novel dances. He makes ever new jokes that cause much laughter. His brilliant luster is like freshly cast gold. I bow down to Goda, the beautiful son of Mother Sachi. So the translation, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, song. I'm not sure of the author of this song, but oh, it's a beautiful song. I, I don't think the author, yeah, the author is Sarvabhama Bhattacharya, yes. Huh? It's called Sachi Sutta Mastika. So when we were visiting the temple in uh, Chaupati uh, before the Gaur Purnima festival, every day for one week before the festival, the devotees would make that part of the morning program, that song. We would sing that every day. Mm -hmm. well, that's Beautiful, beautiful song. Okay, I have another talk coming up later on this afternoon, which is not too far away. Again, on Lord Chaitanya. So I have to, uh, you know, exit <laughs> at this particular time. So I want to thank all the devotees for their participation and. Um, as we have heard, there is an ocean of devotional nectar available at the lotus feet of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you so much for your valuable time and association this morning. Thank you so much. I would like to offer my obeisances to you, Maharaj.